Hey everyone, I'm Lady Venture and I'm going to be playing Martha is Dead. I've been wanting to play this one for a while. I just kind of forgot when it came out and then I saw it on my uh, Steam account and I was like, oh sh So, um, I want to play it. Hopefully that was 30 seconds into me cussing. Otherwise I gotta edit that out. I need to, I need to be better about my cussing. Just not in the first 30 seconds. The story of Martha is dead and its featured characters are a work of fiction. The game contains potentially uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate age rating. As an adult narrative drama, the game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind uh, psychological trauma and self-harm. The game is not recommended for players who may find dis uh, depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement, and human bodies and self-harm disturbing. And then if you guys are struggling with this, use this. I appreciate this. I don't have to put a warning. It warns you guys for me. So I appreciate that. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia Kay. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. There is so much that... I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929 when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. The Legend Summer nanny, 1929. Will you tell me the story of the White Lady? No, little sparrow. Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman, and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes, I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes, very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Annie. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, rat, go to oh, bed. All right. No, go to sleep. You always get your own way. Oh, annoying little in my ass. I loved Nanny, and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night, I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now, I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. She was expecting a lover's stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. So much hope and desire 
that death, not love, was awaiting her. How would I speak up? Oh, the poor dear. That's not fair. Life isn't fair, Poppet, but that's the way it is. And we must learn to deal with it. Mm. Okay, I'll try. But it makes me so mad. Keep on reading, Nanny. I'm not going to keep speaking up. I don't want to hear her talking. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. Jealousy of what? So he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. When fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Keep listening. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth, even just for an instant. The lady feels free from the burden of her pain. I think she's still gonna have the burden of her Good pain. Night, Nanny. Who goes to bed Good after night, that? Love. Thanks, Nanny. Great look, great story. I appreciate it. I spent Crazy. almost three years with the Nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories do not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. Mm. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. The lake. July 16th, 1944, 6 a.m. Act, okay. Reel off the film. Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. Okay. Put the new film in. Close the camera. Load the film. Activate the timer. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. Okay. Used to move. Okay, there we go. Looks like a dead body to me. What? Is that a person? I must help them. 
Then, uh, go. I was horrified at the idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my god! I have to stay calm. Um. Martha is not dead. She looks. It's not possible. A little dead. It's a little. It's not true. There's no need to worry. To stay calm. Martha, February 26th, 1923. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? What are you doing? Go, Eric, run! My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade. Mm. So I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever. The odds of her not being deaf if they're identical twins. Right? who gives life to the dying let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul into your hands I also entrust my spirit so that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light to never suffer the desolation of purgatory please grant her eternal rest O Lord and may eternal light shine upon her Erie, did you remember to light the candles in the hall People will be here soon. Mummy always finds something for everyone to do. So this is a very interesting game. It makes sense what's happening and stuff. I mean, it makes sense that like... It doesn't make sense. What am I talking about? <laughs> uh, I was like, I have no idea what's happening. I don't need that right now. Well, I don't know, but there's like all Riding these things. Riding bikes around here is beautiful. These are Mummy and Daddy's bikes, though. Mine is outside. 
No, I mean, like, it makes sense the situation that she put herself in by accident. I mean, I'm obviously not blaming her. Her sister, she found her, her sister drowned. I wouldn't blame her for anything. Um, are they just going to leave her there? Oh. Moments I thought I saw. No, no, that's not possible. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. Martha. They did a horrible job on her makeup. What am I holding? Why am I holding it? I really enjoyed the man singing, and then they switched it to a lady. Not that I, I care about that, but he had a really nice voice. So originally, this was- I had it in Italian, so every time she talked, she would speak Italian. Um, never a moment's peace. I agree. time like this, she can't sit still for a second. And I had English subtitles, but then I was sitting there repeatedly talking the entire time. So I thought it'd be better if we just didn't have me speaking. Because every time you see the subtitles and them talking, it was going to be me talking. And I was like, oh god, I can't do this. Lots of speaking. I was like, I kind of want to enjoy my game. My mother... Heard you're a bitch to Julia. Everything always has to be perfect with her. What? Parla Londra. Trasmettiamo alcuni messaggi speciali. Felice non è felice. È cessata la pioggia. La mia barba è bionda. Parla Londra. Close the door. Who were auto saving? Yeah, who closed the door? Rude. Okay, Eric. you can run. Eric, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here? Of all places? What? Hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. You're dead. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough. She has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. Do you think it's the right time for this? Ooh. Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. That ain't having it. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. Ooh. You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? Okay, they made him too docile because I'd have been like, bitch, why did I marry you? Right? They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. 
All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore, can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramula. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Hmm. So her father's famous. Mother didn't seem to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me, too, that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. I don't know. Martha has lost. Martha has lost her life. Life. No, you don't want me to. Okay. Martha. Ah! <laughs> has lost her soul. I mean, any nightmare where you have to run is ridiculous, right? I don't want to run in real life. You think I want to run in my dream? Martha has lost her Martha has lost her Martha has lost her I stole, I stole her life, her life, identity, ooh, life, oh, really, technically you stole her life, you did steal her identity, but you stole both, maybe they mean because she didn't kill her, but technically you are taking over her life, you're taking over I, mean, I want to argue that they should have put a different word other than life and identity together. That's just, uh, just ignore me. Keep going! 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, we're just gonna... We're just gonna keep going. Why? Oh my god, you're- oh, Jesus. No! Do not put that on. Do not put that on. What on earth just- okay. Am I seeing- Oh, Martha, I- I am so sorry. Can I walk? Can I? You just want me to live in this nightmare. Okay. Well, I did not see that coming. Even a little. It was just a dream. A horrible dream. Uh, yeah. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I, mean... I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... I'm still processing, I'm sorry. I was sitting here like, I've never had a dream like that in my Martha life. Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? The room. All right. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. But it's locked. Okay. So Martha's been murdered Martha's and we clothes. don't know. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Hmm. I mean, if I'm supposed to be Martha, I probably should wear my clothing. That's just my opinion. Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. And yet you frame them and put them up on a wall. Because why wouldn't you? Okay, so I shared a room with my sister. I always keep my trinket box locked. Yeah, well, so does Martha. Oh gosh, if mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. The butterfly collection that Daddy made for me. Hmm. Her dad sounds amazing. Nanny will be visiting me soon. I still like to have the books and games from when I was little with me. However, your mother sounds atrocious and I do not like her. I'm already dressed. Well, I was just checking. Everything I need is always in my bag. B for bag? Okay, well, I mean... Push this to the bottom. Do, do, do. Okay. Select a key. We have a map. Okay, we have a map. Interesting. I have photos. Okay, things that I've been doing. Okay. Objective. The camera. Uh, I'm trying to get the perfect shot. Okay, so I want to take a picture for my sister or myself. Hey, hey, 
Hey, I got a key though, don't I? Key? The key to my trinket box. Yeah, use it. You have to find your sister's key though. Here is my diary. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. Do we want to keep reading? July 16, 1944. Here. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Well, we know that I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Yeah. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk, or I will be in serious trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to be careful. How wonderful the snow is. Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. I'm trying to think on what we're supposed to be doing. There's no shortage of paintings in our house. Mum is passionate about painting. If to run. Well, that will be handy when I need to run. It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? That her? Hold on, I thought I was As in a child her other when I room. I spent those short years with the nanny. This was my room. Oh, okay. Before you moved in with your sister, basically? Because that room looks like your guys' room. Okay, everything's locked over here. I love the style of this house. It looks so cool. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Oh, is that me running? Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. Uh, I promise. The sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. 
We can't stay here all day talking. Men saying her name like Mummy is right though. Martha always read everything. Julia. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. I think you They'll say be out all day. Julia. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Not sure. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Oh my god. Why why are they so far away? Why do I have to go to K? I have to go really far for K. Ah, uh, the frame. You must put one of the photos. Do, do, do the newspaper. Martha always reads the newspaper. So, I, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I'll read the damn newspaper. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia K., a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Hmm. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Julia K. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announce Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30 p.m., departing from the property of the deceased. Uh, I don't really want to read all of this. Let's pretend I read all of it. Thank you. I... Where are you? There you Chocolate, are. Chocolate. A privilege for few people in these times. For Julia, to take more and more photos, Dad. I'm on it. I'm gonna take me I some photos. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Sure. Bread, butter, jam, and coffee. Martha's typical breakfast. You not want to eat? I prefer honey and milk, but I will have to adapt to her tastes, obviously. Okay. There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always sure. put crumbs on it for them. I liked photo. watching Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. I we got are this so lucky. House is huge. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. Very lucky. But with a German Archie general Marcy. for a father, food is never it. scarce. The battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombs. Hey, Martha. Our Lady of Carmel, a company of the Falchium Regiment, counterattacked yesterday, forcing the French to retreat. Florence, to the July fifteenth, nineteen forty-four. General Erich K. As per our prior agreement, we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The device must remain hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascheralo, Carl H. Hail Hitler! Yay! I'm excited to be on that side of the war. Thanks, Dad. Well, I liked you a second ago. Oh, lemons. How do I do oh, adjustment panels? Oh my god. This is getting so detailed. I'm like, just take a picture. Okay. Good tabs. Okay, sounds good. Subject is out of focus. Just the camera, just press space to shoot. Hey, little guy. Congratulations, you've taken your first photo. Yay! Excellent. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Oh, okay. Let's go. 
Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. Where is the cellar? I think I saw the cellar, but where, where did I see it? Oh, there it is. Are you stuck? Daddy set up his darkroom here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the darkroom when I want to. Well, Julia was. It's gonna be interesting if, if you take up this. I don't know how you're gonna tell your parents anything about that. Like, by the way, I'm gonna start taking photos like my sister did. To develop a photo, first you have to use the enlarger, the enlarger option is the instrument. Okay. After shooting photo, the film must be developed in several steps. The aspect. Doo -doo. Oh my god, they're like literally making me work right now. Right. Yes, that is a negative. Enlarger allows you to customize the photo even more. You can choose which part of the paper, the picture, you can adjust. Okay. You... Okay. I get what you're saying. Yes, 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 yes. AD. Oh my god, this is crazy. Well, I want... I'm gonna do... This is like my dream. I love taking photos. But I want to be centered. I can't develop the photo like this. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out though. Do we want the whole piece? So we're gonna try the whole thing? I can't develop the photo like mm. this. Okay, so you need... When the red filter is removed, the image is exposed to the paper. Du, 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 la la la. Sure. Okay, so you need to line up... You need to line up the sides, you need to line up the circles. They didn't tell me that. Or they did and I didn't read it. Let's be honest here. I'm sure I didn't read it. But now I know. After me arguing. Immerse the paper in developer. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, to achieve exposure, take the paper out when the timer is in the green zone. If you take the paper out too early or too late, the image will be ruined. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Okay. Space to stop it. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, yes. In real life, uh, the development followed by a wash, a stop bath, and then the second wash. These additional baths have been skipped for the sake of simplicity. That was simple? You think this entire thing was simple? Here's your print of your photo album. Not a bad photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. It looks... It, eh. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. I, I think it, I could have did better. Let's be honest, it doesn't look that great. Okay. Uh, got me um I got me a picture. Okay. See so try camera the camera tripod is useful. I can't hold it by hand. There's surely one in the basement. So I gotta find a tripod and I need to do a self portrait. Because why not? I ran down here so fast, I didn't even- oh, I didn't even look around. That was on me. Almost like, what is happening? Where am I? Lorenzini Haberdashery. 
five metres of grey cotton fabric, six metres of white linen fabric, four metres of green satin, delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of Mummy's, or could the nanny have left it here? Mm. These could be of use to me. Could they? Let's just take the scissors with us, okay. Mummy's sewing machine. She learnt how to sew because nobody else could do it to her liking. Those scissors were huge. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? What kind of medicine is it? I don't even know what that is. I don't, I don't know. Whoa, mannequin. You're, uh, you're in my way. And you guys, uh, your blood, your wine blood, wine blood. So I'm looking for a tripod. There it is. Hello. I'd like you. I have to set this on a timer. Camera is set up with the self timer. Oh, thank you. Thank God I didn't have to do that myself because that would have been horrible. All right, let's fix our hair. Let's get ready. We got this. Everyone smile. Smiling, smiling. A, hey, yes, yes, yes. It's all sulking and something else. I did not want to sulk. I guess you can only take one picture, huh? Can I, um... Can I take my camera with me? No? You need to close. I gotta move these. I don't know what... I don't... I don't know. Everything's so far from it. These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. Hmm. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy brought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. You guys got a winery back here? Look at these barrels. Cool. What is happening here? Hey, 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 hey. How do I... When I was little, yeah. these barrels seemed enormous. I thought I could live inside one. Probably could. I don't see a problem with that. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. Mm. You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. You line this up completely. Boom! You're welcome. That's right. Way too happy for myself right now. That's right. I can develop film in a game. Very proud of myself. <laughs> okay. Don't miss it, Leslie. You have one job. Not to miss it. Mm, yes. Oh, darling, you're gorgeous. Yes, this oh, is you, me. You really are. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. Soul in the picture. A photo. The soul in the photo. 
I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened, but suddenly a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Don't we have to put the photo in the frame first? Of course the door is locked. The keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. What just happened? I live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. Is it so dark? this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. The rules? I need an adult? 11.30 p.m. the same day. Did I do everything? Ladder can be in when not in use. Okay. July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my desire to live, and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices confused with no desire or expectations. I was handling the cameras at the lake and there was a floating body on the water. I don't remember what I was doing before. <sighs> Yet another memory lapse. That lifeless body was Martha's. My sister. Mummy ran up to me and hugged me thinking I was Martha and that I, Julia, was dead. I didn't correct her mistake and now it's too late. If they find out I have been fooling everyone, I don't even want to think about it. I feel terribly guilty pretending to be Martha, pretending to be deaf. I took the photo for Martha's frame. I know it's too late now and I felt incredible pain placing the picture. I said goodbye to her forever in that moment. I realized she was gone and there was no going back. I must do one thing for Martha. I must find out what happened. Partisans couldn't have killed her. That's just ridiculous. Lapo is my friend, and he is one of them. He loved us so much. We know all of them, so it's just impossible. Okay, so I already placed the photo. Now we're at the lake, the front door, saw in the photo. Take a photo of my day. Do, do, do. Does that mean I already did it? I have the photo. Do I have the photo with me? Okay, so I think I have to put the photo away. Okay. But why am I in the dark? Light my way. So oh, why? That was interesting. We did a time loop really fast into where it was, I think, 11 in the morning and now it's 11 at night. That's very confusing. Um, but I'm going to stop right here, everyone. We can continue on into the next chapter. Um, I'm excited to do, but um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, please like and subscribe, share this video and uh, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.